What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another autumn season festival playlist video. So today we're going to be jumping right into it. Right now we're driving our Ferrari F40 that we unlocked in the last video. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. But today we're going to be jumping into another one of the seasonal championships and we're going to knock out the grudge match um, seasonal event. So. We're going to go over here, as you can see, the class restrictions are C600, and it is Mustang versus Camaro. So you have to use a Mustang or a Camaro in the C category. So we will go ahead and jump into it. Something that should be noted, this is a dirt racing um, championship, so you're going to be on dirt. Uh, so all-wheel drive is probably a necessity, uh, but we'll have tunes for it, and we'll go ahead and jump right in. I've heard a lot of good things about this autumn right, championship. let's see what kind of races we're I'll doing. We've got a now, sprint race, a circuit race, and a sprint race, so... Very good. Alright, so the cars that we set up, we're using the 1970 Camaro Z28, the 93 SVT Cobra R, and the 1965 Mustang GT Coupe. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the... Um, We'll, we'll do the Cobra R first, so jump into it, and our first race is the Ambleside Scramble. So whenever you're doing these seasonal championships, you want to make sure you're racing against at least highly skilled Drivatars in order to get the reward, um, basically the car, at the end of the event. So now that we have that set as it should, we're going to go ahead and start the race. So this is that SVT Cobra, the 93 Mustang. Um, each of these cars does have a tune on it, and I'll make sure that those share codes are up on the screen for the different cars at the beginning of the races. They'll also be down in the description below. Um, also in the description below, there is a link to the Discord server for the channel. Those links, or the tunes also get uh, posted on there. And usually they get posted on there prior to the video even going up or even being edited. So if you're impatient like I am and you want to get, you know, a look at what tunes I'm using, definitely go check that link out for that Discord server. Um, there's also channels on that Discord server that you can use to find people to play the uh, Playground Games events, which we did in the last video. Also, you can find people to do the trial event, which we did two videos ago, so um, definitely go check that out. Uh, you can just find regular people to play with in the Discord server, too. You don't necessarily have to be doing the seasonal events. Uh, it's just a good way to, you know, connect and communicate with people. So definitely go check that out. Looks like we have five laps of this race, which is okay. It's a short circuit to all dirt racing, which is nice for a change as far as dirt series racing actually being strictly dirt um, if you've been around the channel you know I've got some gripes as far as dirt series events being majorly on asphalt <laughs> and there's quite a few of them a lot of them are sprint races just because there's not enough dirt roads on the map but I think they should just be changed the name should be changed to like mixed surface racing or something like that but it is what it is We'll see how they approach that in Horizon 5. Um, but we just have two laps left. This thing's actually doing really well on the dirt. Um, it's got a little bit of understeer, but once you've driven it around a lap, you kind of know how to adjust for it. So not too bad. Using like the handbrake quite a bit going up this hill, but it's a, overall it's a good tune for this circuit event. So I think I'm just gonna kind of skip towards the end um, unless anything interesting happens on the race. Because, you know, there's no sense in wasting anybody's time just watching me go around in circles for, you know, two more laps. Alright, we're coming up on the final straightaway. If we had one more lap, we could actually lap some of the Drivatars. So, not half bad. The car did really well. So, again, a little bit of understeer, but after a lap or two, you learn to adjust for that. So... 
go ahead and jump into the second race and we're gonna jump into our next car all right here we go with the derwent water trail we're jumping into the z28 camaro and the share code for the tune that we're using on this will be up on the screen um, something to be noted is you guys don't have to use three cars um, if you're new to the channel I go through the seasonal championships using three cars just so that there is you know different options shown which you can use on the events you only have to pick one of the cars to use I mean you don't have to use any of the cars that I use and I definitely suggest that if you find a car or use a different car that you found made the event easy definitely let us know down in the comments below or in that discord server underneath the weekly festival playlist channel because you know we're just here to help people out and you know build a community around the game but um, just making that clear that you don't have to use three cars I just do it for the sense of you know creating content for you guys that you can find valuable and helpful for the game so um, this Camaro is handling really well um, it's a little understeery again it's all-wheel drive which all these muscle cars aren't really meant to be so for what it's doing it's handling it very well um, I guess it's also off-road so not necessarily meant to be here either um, I think that this is a better tune than the uh, SVT Cobra so the Mustang we just used um, so this might be a better a better car to use if you've got it in your garage if you've got the Mustang in your garage or that Mustang I wouldn't even worry about it. I would just use that for right now. Um, you know, some of these events aren't worth buying a new car for. Some of them are. Uh, don't get me wrong. Some of them definitely are worth, you know, scouring the auto show or even the auction house. Sometimes you can get a pretty good amount of money off of the cars if you just look on the auction house. Um, this would probably be one of those ones that you'd come out saving money if you found it on the auction house. And it may even have some of the tunes or some of the parts for um you know a tune that might be used so uh but i don't think that you should spend money on it if you don't have it and if you've got another car that might be able to fill this you know space as far as completing this event but it's actually doing really well a lot of the cars that i use in the events are just cars that I've gotten naturally. I can give, probably count on like both of my hands as far as, you know, 10, um, all 10 of my fingers, how many cars I've actually bought in the game. Because I get a lot of cars through wheel spins and that's just kind of where I naturally stay. Um, right now I'm sitting at $43 million just because I literally don't spend money on cars or buying cars, I spend plenty of money on tunes, but I don't spend money actually like buying cars in this game, so. All right, there we go. So we got 20 points there. Um, I guess something I should mention too, you don't have to come in first place on each of these events. You can see we got 20 points for coming in first there, um, and we got 20 points from the last race, but you just have to be in first place on the top of this leaderboard at the end of the three races, so. Let's go ahead and jump into that last race, and we'll jump into that 65 Mustang GT Coupe. Alright, here we go with the Glen Rannoch, Rannoch Trail. Again, we're in the 65 Mustang GT Coupe, and the share code for the tune that we're using will be up on the screen. We've got this really nice blue paint on it. I'm trying to, like, you know kick back to you know what the car might look like in its old day you know outside of the spoiler or ducktail whatever you want to call it and the um uh, what is that called roll cage that's what i'm looking for outside of that ooh, on the brakes all right let's see if we can't handle this a little better uh going up the mountain here what we can do this one it feels really loose so it doesn't feel like it has as much understeer as the other two cars which is nice um 
but we'll give it a fair chance as far as, you know, we haven't really driven it, but for a second, uh, it's got a little bit of understeer, I guess. It's also trying to battle an uphill turn, which might be the cause of that there. Um, I think everybody has this car at some point, because I think it's a car that you get, like, in the story progression of the game. So you still have it, or you should have it unless you've sold it. Um, and that's kind of something that I really, well, I mean, it's hard to do. You have to, like, sell in the auction house. You can't just sell cars from, like, your garage. Um, which is kind of silly. I feel like they should allow you to sell cars, like, you know, to, you know, the auto show and not have to go through the auction house to sell cars. Um, but, you know, they don't do that. Maybe they will on Horizon 5. I know you can go in and delete cars from your garage, but you can't really sell them, per se. Um, so maybe that's something that they'll add into Horizon 5, but I think it's been that way in a lot of the Horizon games. So, they probably won't add it, but we'll see. Um, but if you did get rid of it, I'm sure that it's really cheap to get it back. So, this might be an option if you don't have any cars that might fit that criteria. Uh, for the Seasonal Championship, this tune is really good. I mean, we're way ahead of the Drivatars right now. So we're looking good. Um, we're about 75% through the race. I think this one feels the best, quite honestly. Um, it may just be because we've got a little bit better high speed track or trail or whatever you want to call it, but this one honestly does feel the best to me. Um, so maybe worth using this one. So, like I said, we're about 90% through, though. Ooh, trip around there. This tune's probably set up mainly for dirt, so little bits that you're on asphalt, you might not have too much grip. So, there we go, across the line, do it in some style, going backwards. So that'll get us 20 more points, and we'll end out with 60 on the championship. So there we go. Grudge match is complete. We'll get the three stars there because we raced against at least highly skilled drive guitars. And that'll unlock that Ford Mustang from 1969. I've actually got three of those in my garage right now. Um, and then we'll get 40,000 credits on top of that for getting the other two stars. But there we go. That's how you unlock the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 um, in the autumn season of Series 38 for or in Forza Horizon 4. I hope you guys did enjoy or found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like on it. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 4 content. Every Thursday, I do go through the new weekly festival playlist and create videos and uh, try to get them posted on or before Sunday. So definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for that. Um, definitely go check out the Discord server where the link is in the description below. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.